In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a talking head video to your Keynote presentation using Keynote's Play Across Slides feature. So in Keynote version 10.1, they added a new feature called Play Across Slides, which allows you to play a video or a piece of audio across the slides in your presentation. It's kind of like being able to create an independent video or audio track for your slideshow. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that feature, Play Across Slides, to add a talking head narration video to your keynote presentation, like you'd see in a typical tutorial or screencast. Let's jump in. So here we are in Keynote, and this is Keynote version 10.3.8, running on Mac OS Big Sur 11.0.1. Now it's very important to note that the technique I'm going to show you only works in Keynote version 10.1 and above because 10.1 is when they added the play across slides feature. So I have this project open and it contains six slides with graphics, text and animation. It's a short presentation about the three phases of video production. Now I'll quickly play it by going up and hitting the play button on the toolbar. So we're now in playback mode and all of my slide animations or builds in this slideshow are set to trigger manually on click. So to advance through my slideshow, I need to press the left mouse button or hit the forward arrow key. And you can see the different elements animate onto screen. And I'll hit escape to get out of playback mode. Okay, now what I wanna do is add a talking head video to my slides to guide the viewer through the presentation, essentially an on-camera narration. Now, I cannot record my webcam or other camera directly in Keynote. What I can do is pre-record a talking head video to go with my presentation and then add it to my slides later. And that's what I did. Here's the video I pre-recorded for my presentation. And I recorded it with my Logitech C920 webcam in QuickTime Player using File, New Movie Recording. Now you could also use your smartphone or other camera to pre-record your video. I'll play a little bit of this pre-recording. Hey, it's Mike and in this video, I wanna go over the three phases of video production. So the now here's a tip. As I'm recording my on-camera narration, I'm actually going through my slideshow in Keynote, simulating a live presentation. Doing it this way will help me synchronize my recorded video with my slide animations later on in the process, as you'll see. All right, let's add this video narration to my slides. And to do that, I'm first going to add a new blank slide to the beginning of my slide deck here. So I'll select the Add Slide button on the top toolbar. And from the menu down here, I'll select a blank slide. Now I'll click and drag my blank slide to the top of the slide deck if necessary. And with my new blank slide selected, I'll go up and select the media button on the top toolbar. And from the menu, select choose. And that will bring up the finder so that I can choose the video I want to add. And here it is on the desktop. I'll select it and then select the insert button. Keynote will then import my video and place it on the slide I had selected. Okay, so here's my video on the first slide and it's full screen. And I'm gonna leave it full screen as the introduction of my presentation. The next thing I'm gonna do is with my video selected on the slide, I'm gonna make sure the format button at the top right of the interface is selected. And then below that, make sure the movie button is selected to bring up the settings panel for my selected video. And then I'm gonna go down to the settings at the bottom of the panel, and I'm gonna make sure start movie on click is deselected. With this deselected, my video will start playing automatically when I play the presentation, which is what I want. Now here's where the magic happens. I'm gonna go down here and make sure Play Across Slides is selected. This is very important. This allows my video to play continuously across all of my slides, almost like a separate video track. But in order to make that happen, I need to perform another important step. I need to copy and paste my video to all the other slides in my slideshow where I want the video to play continuously. And then I have to enable the play across slide setting for each of those copies of the video. 
Let me show you. So I'll select my video on the first slide. I'll right click or control click and from the pop-up menu, select copy. Then I'll select my second slide, right click or control click and select paste. And there's my video taking up all the space on my slide covering the other content. Now I don't want that. So with my video still selected, I'm going to click and drag the corner handles to resize my video and place it in the lower right corner of the slide. It's the typical arrangement you'd see in most tutorials or screencasts. Then with my video still selected, I'm going to go over to the movie settings and make sure play movie across slides is selected. Now you can leave the start movie on click setting checked or unchecked. It doesn't really matter. The video is going to play continuously from the first slide either way because I have play across slides selected. All right, now that my video is sized and positioned where I want it to be, I'll make sure it's selected and then just right click or control click on it and from the menu select copy. And then I'm just gonna copy the video to the rest of my slides. This will maintain the size and positioning of my video for each slide that I add it to. Convenient. And just like the videos on the first two slides, I'll make sure play across slides is checked for each copy of the video that I paste to the other slides. So now that my video has been added to my slides and play across slides has been checked, I'm going to add a little bit of production value to my presentation. Now this step is not necessary to make my presentation work, but it's a nice touch. So I'm gonna select my first slide with my video that's full screen. Now making sure nothing else is selected on the slide, not even the video, I'm gonna go over to the top right of the interface and select the animate button. And from the transition menu, I'll select add an effect. And from the list of effects, I'll select magic move. And I get a preview of what the transition is going to look like. So my full screen video on the first slide is going to smoothly transition to the shrinked down version on the next slide. I'm gonna go over to the magic move settings and just reduce the duration a little just to make the move go faster. Now, if you wanna know more about how to use Keynote's magic move transition, I have a tutorial on that. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. All right, now that my talking head video is set up on all of my slides, let's see how this whole thing comes together using the play across slides feature. So I'm gonna go up to the top toolbar and select the play button to play back my slideshow. And here's my full screen talking head video on the first slide playing automatically. And at the right moment, I'll hit the forward arrow key and we'll transition to the next slide. But notice my talking head video continues to play across the slides independently. And that's what the play across slide feature does. It's like having a separate video track for your slideshow. I'll continue stepping through my slideshow using the forward arrow key, using my talking head video narration as a guide. So this is when you're recording, you're recording right. video. So these are the three phases of video production, pre-production, production, and post-production. All right, I'll hit the escape key to get out of playback mode. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And what helped make the timing work was when I pre-recorded my talking head video, I stepped through my keynote slideshow as if I was giving a live presentation. When I'm happy with my slideshow, I can export it as a video. But before I do that, I need to first record my slideshow in keynote. To record my slideshow, I'll make sure my first slide is selected. Then I'll go up to the top menu and select play record slideshow. This opens Keynote slideshow recording interface. Now taking a quick look at this interface, the big window on the left shows the current slide. And the smaller window on the right shows the next slide, animation, transition, or build in the build order. So you can see what's coming next. Now before I start recording, I'm just going to go down to the controls down here. And I'm going to click the microphone icon to mute my microphone. This is the built-in voiceover tool in the interface. Now I don't need 
to record a voiceover using this recording interface because I already have my talking head video narration. All right, let's record. To start recording, I can go down to the bottom of the interface and select the record button. And I get this countdown. And then I'm recording. Hey, Mike, and in this video, I want to go over the And then my talking head video narration starts automatically because that's how I had it set. And then I'm just going to step through my slides by hitting the forward arrow key at the right moment, just like I did when I rehearsed things earlier, using my talking head video narration as a guide. So all I have to do is worry about hitting the forward arrow key at the right time. So this is all part of pre-production, the planning phase of video production. The next phase of video production is production. So these are the three phases of video production, pre-production, production, and post-production. When I'm finished, I can stop recording by hitting the stop button down here. Now at the bottom of the interface, you'll notice a timeline of your recording. The blue bar here represents your recording. Now, if you look carefully, you can see faint gray tick marks. These represent the boundaries between the slides in your slideshow. Now you can play back your recorded slideshow by clicking and dragging the playhead back to the beginning of the timeline, or you can just click the rewind button here. Then press the play button to play back. Hey, it's Mike, and in this video, I want to go over the three... And there's the recorded slideshow, with the slide animations correctly timed to my talking head video narration. You're researching your topic, you're writing... Now, just a quick note about editing in this recording interface. If you mess up recording a slide, you can go back and re-record that slide by clicking and dragging the playhead to just before the boundary tick mark at the beginning of the slide you want to re-record. Then you hit the record button again to re-record. Now, you'll get this warning. You're about to record over your current recording from the slide you selected onward. That's something to keep in mind. Whichever slide you start re-recording from, from that point on in the recording, everything will be erased and recorded over. Which means you can't just re-record one or two slides in the middle of your slideshow recording. My advice, if you make a mistake while recording, it's best to stop recording immediately, then start your re-record at the beginning of the slide with the mistake and continue on. All right, now that my slideshow is recorded, I can export it as a video. And to do that, I'll first get out of the Keynote recording interface by clicking on this X button in the top right corner. Then I'm going to go up to the top menu in Keynote and select File, Export to Movie. And the Movie Export dialog pops up. So for playback, I'll select the drop-down menu and select Slideshow Recording because I want to export the recording I just made. Then under the Resolution menu, I'll select the 1080p preset. This exports your slideshow as a high definition 1920 by 1080 p video using the H.264 codec, which is a very common export format. You can also enter a custom resolution setting by selecting Custom and then entering your settings into these fields. Now just make sure the resolution you enter into these fields matches the resolution and aspect ratio, at least, of your slides. You can select a custom frame rate for your exported video. 30 FPS, or frames per second, is a very common frame rate. And under compression type, you have a list of different compression settings, from H.264, which is pretty standard, to the various Apple ProRes 422 compression types, which give you varying levels of quality, but large file sizes. You'd use these uh, presets if you were taking your exported video out of Keynote into another editing application like, say, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro to do some more editing or post-production. And then you have Apple ProRes 4444, which you would use to export Keynote videos or animations that contain transparency, or what's called an alpha channel. Now, I have a tutorial that shows you how to export animations with transparency or alpha channels out of Keynote. 
I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the description below. Just keep in mind, Apple ProRes 4444 creates very, very large file sizes. So for this demo, I'll leave my export set to the 1080p preset. Then I'll go down here and select Next. And I get the familiar Save dialog. I'll give my exported video a name, select a location to save it to on my Mac, and then hit Export. And my recorded keynote slideshow with my talking head video narration is exported as a high definition video that I can share. Here's a quick look at the final exported video of my slideshow. Hey, it's Mike, and in this video, I want to go over the three phases of video production. So the first phase of video production is pre-production. So this is when you're doing your planning. So the play across slides feature in Keynote gives you a controlled way to add video content and then synchronize it with your Keynote presentation. Now, if you're looking for other ways to create great quality video using Apple Keynote, have a look at these other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.